With the new D&D movie coming out, you're probably wondering how to start playing this nerdy game, and as someone who within the last year has gotten into d and I'm happy to help you boys out, because genuinely I believe D&D is one of the most fun games that you can play, period. No game has the flexibility and the ability to be as fun as D&D. Now, if you don't know what D&D is, it's a role-playing game. Okay, calm down. I know what you're thinking the second you hear that. It's a game where one of your friends is the dungeon master, and he creates a world and story for you and your friends to play as. You all make characters, and then you all play as those characters in the world the Dungeon Master creates. Yeah, this is sounding way more dorky the longer I talk about it, but trust me, it's really fun. And that should be the basic pitch for D&D. It's just a fun game to play with friends and should be super easy to get into. But I see all these YouTube channels making the hardest guides ever to get into D&D. They're making it so complicated. This is a game where you literally play with a piece of paper and pencil in your imagination. It should not be that hard to get into. And since it was hard for me to figure out how to get into D&D, I really wanted to help others out there that want to get into this game as easily as possible. So I'm going to give you guys the easiest rundown on how to get into D&D and how to do it as cheaply as possible. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with the basics of the game. What do you need to play this game? And all you need for this game is a character sheet, some dice, a pencil, and friends. That's literally it. There's no board, no book. All you need is someone to DM the game and people to play as the characters. Now you might be wondering where are the rules to the game? And all the main rules are in the player's guide, which is this big book that you can buy that is the official rules to play D&D. But don't tell anyone that I told you this. That book is like 27 bucks. And that seems kind of expensive to me, so I would say just Google the book and skim through it and you'll be fine. And with that, you should be pretty caught up on the fundamentals of D&D. &D. And even if you miss a rule here or there though, there'll probably be someone in your friend group or party that will also know the rules better, and they'll be able to help clarify rules the longer you play. And that's going to lead to my first tip, which is to try to find someone who already has some D&D &D experience. Now, if you're someone who's in a nerd culture, jeez, that sounds so lame, chances are someone you know is probably into D&D &D and is probably already playing it. For me, this is how I got into the game. I started consistently playing because I asked Caden, my friend who I knew already played, if I could join his game if he was in one. Sure enough, I was able to join, make a character, and learn all of the basics of the game. Chances are if you know someone who's already into D&D, they're going to want to help you get into D&D. It's just how hobbies go. They'll lend you dice and books and stuff, and that's the best way I think of getting into the game. Just ask your friends if you can join, and if they're not jerks, they'll be super friendly and helpful getting you introduced into the world of D&D. &D. But T-Rex, I hear you say, I don't know anyone who plays D&D, &D, and that's totally fine. Someone has to be the first person to get into it. So you're gonna be the one that has to take the initiative. Problem is, you're gonna have to be the one knowing the stuff. You're gonna be the one running the game, and you're gonna have to be the one who gets the whole game together to play D&D &D every time. And that's okay, trust me, it's not that hard. I've done it. If you're getting everyone into D&D, &D, you're gonna to be the dungeon master though, which is the person who basically runs the entire game. You're going to be the one in charge of all the story, all the characters, and all the enemies, and basically you're the main honcho at the top of the game. And that can sound scary and intimidating, but it shouldn't be. Everyone starts somewhere, and just jumping in is the best way to get into D&D. &D. So just ignore all the humongous YouTube guides that will bombard you with how to be the perfect dungeon master, and just do it. Get some friends together to play D&D, &D, and just say it's your first time DMing, and they'll be probably really easy with you. But hey, I totally get it. It is really intimidating on being the DM because you don't want to screw up. So I'm going to give my recommendations on how to become a DM as easily as possible. Now this does kind of suck because I hate telling people that they should spend money on something they might not like. But I can say, if you want to be a DM and you really want to get your friends to play D&D with you, I would say get a starter set if you're completely new to D&D and especially DMing. There are two sets, get whatever one sounds more fun to you, but these sets give you all the pointers on how to play the game with the rules and also shows you how to DM by giving you a pre-made adventure to run. Also, it takes the stress of making characters right out of the picture, so you can just give your friends these pre-made characters and jump in. You also get dice as well, so I think this is the best place for a person who has no experience at all with D&D to Start. And if later down the line you're a player or a DM and you really want to know more about D&D &D and all the little in-depth stuff, maybe that's time for you to invest in a player's guide. But please do not get it first. See if you like the game first and then buy it later down the road. And the best thing is, those are probably the only two things you'll ever have to buy for this game. This isn't like Warhammer where you need to invest an entire fortune in order to play, because everything else in the game is just extra. If you get these two things, you really will have everything you need to play the game and to be able to run the game if you want to. I know this because I've been running my D&D games with just these two things, and it's been super great. You don't need a fortune to play D&D, and I'll show you why. Let's go see my setup. I usually have a, a laptop open with what I plan out. So usually the night before or like two or three nights before, I'll write out everything. Right now I'm running the pre-made adventure from the starter set because I'm getting my feet still under me for 
DMing. I've had a few sessions under my belt. We're almost done with this. But I'm running Dragons of Stormwreck Isle. So I'll have this on hand in case I need to use it. And I'll use my Chromebook, which I use to write down the script and basically all the key points whenever I need to. I also have a, uh, a notebook usually, which I'll use to write main characters down if I need them, or if I have some like fight that's going on, I'll end up writing down um, Carter and Caden's like stats and stuff and the zombie stats and like stuff like that, you know, so you can keep track of all that. And then I just use this. I have a little character sheet that's empty that I use to remember like certain skills. So if I'm like, oh, they need to do athletics check or something, I can remember those really quickly. It's just in a slide. And then I usually just have the player's handbook there just, just to stand by, just in case I need it, in case I forget a rule because I am not a huge big brain. I don't, I can't memorize this book. Anyone can play this game and I believe anyone can love this game. Just make sure that you're prioritizing having fun at the foremost. These are your friends. Don't take it so deathly seriously. Get some snacks, take a night off, and just have a good time. Some of my favorite moments just in gaming and with my friends have been in D&D, and I hope you guys can experience a little bit of that. D&D is awesome. Get some dice, get some paper, get a pencil, get your popcorn, get your friends. Oh, I didn't mention how to get friends. Nah, you guys went to kindergarten. You should be good. Introduce yourself. I don't know. Have fun. Bye.